Okay, so let's uh, let's start. Since uh, the beginning of my work with RPLC, uh, as part of my evaluation task, I was looking at the publication database from all RPLC members. And uh, this is a short summary of uh, um, what uh, RPLC members has published in the first uh, three and a half years of RPLC uh, mandate. So I will begin start, uh, sharing the screen. So uh, this is a, a midterm publication uh, analysis. So here is just the covers of uh, a few books uh, and a report that have been uh, published. And uh, uh, what I've done was to um, find the sources uh, through different web instruments. And so I began with uh, uh, Science Direct. Uh, I looked at also sometimes at research data in academia, but I found Google Scholar was the most effective, uh, most uh, broad uh, and wide search. And uh, from all this uh, information, there was structured in a different, uh, um, a different uh, that, uh, the different archives that uh, we see later, and so this is uh, the, a screenshot of how the Zotero group appears uh, in uh, the web, and so to all uh, people who can become members, uh, it's possible to browse first through all these um, directories, and also it's possible also to filter by tags, uh, and also to sort uh, all uh, the publication in uh, the order by. Uh, author by title or by date. So now there are three main uh, arch arch archives. Uh, arch uh, the, f the most important is on publications, which is in turn divided in uh, five groups, uh, according to also the Shirk taxonomy. So we have books, uh, books chapters, uh, journal articles, conference proceedings, uh, and other reports, uh, which groups uh, uh, group all uh, uh, documents that cannot be put in the previous uh, categories uh, because they, they, they are uh, just uh, reports uh, mainly for uh, international organizations, universities, uh, NGO, or uh, what else. Then we have also a, another uh, database on uh, RPLC-related conference presentations, so mainly CRRF, ISERPs, uh, and also the OECD in 2015. And a third uh, database is uh, a list of faculty member pages, of course, uh, for those who have them. In this uh, uh, research, uh, I will uh, look uh, at, uh, this is the summary of the results uh, updated uh, to today. During this uh, last weeks, uh, there have been small adjustment in these numbers uh, in, in the refining uh, of, of the data. And so we can see that uh, we have a grand total of almost 400 uh, publications, which are mainly journal articles and uh, books, cha book chapters, books, uh, and uh, a smaller number of conference proceedings uh, and uh, reports. Uh, I think that uh, these small numbers uh, are a spy that uh, the col collection procedure is not efficient for this kind of documents as for the others. Because conference proceedings are not so well indexed as journal articles, books, uh, or book chapters, and uh, uh, we need to uh, to find them. Uh, finding them is more difficult. And I think that what has been found is mainly because uh, uh, faculties uh, put uh, this information on their web page or on their Google Scholar page. I mean, otherwise, uh, um, search engines don't not, don't find so well. Uh, this kind of information. And uh, we see that there are some oscillation, but uh, uh, we have uh, almost uh, a constant uh, uh, production of these documents uh, uh, around uh, from year to year. So uh, for RPLC books, uh, the main, uh, dividing them by main domain of research, uh, which is somehow uh, uh, Sometimes uh, not so precise because um, most books cover different subjects, and so maybe some of these books could be have been uh, classified uh, in more than one of these categories. So we have a, a great uh, amount of uh, dominant part of sociology, 
and a smaller part in economics and policy and the remainder in other categories. Looking at the, the countries of origin of this research, we have a great predominance of Canadian books and chapters. Uh, it seems that uh, in Europe, uh, uh, RPRC members are using less of this form of communication uh, uh, because they are using, as we will see, more um, journal articles. If we go to move to journal articles, we can see that also if we look by quarter, we have a certain uh, um, average, uh, which is around about 20 per quarter with uh, some, uh, of course, uh, oscillation from one moment to another. As we can see in this case, uh, uh, for the uh, articles, uh, sociology is, uh, is a little less uh, important and we have a greater amount uh, for policy and economics. And uh, if we are looking also through other different uh, tags, uh, we can see that uh, there is attention on uh, in some articles on natural resources, food, mining, fisheries, water, forestry, and uh, almost an equal amount on, on human resources, uh, mainly migration, children and young, uh, problems and, and opportunities, uh, gender issues, poverty, and also old adults. If uh, we are looking now to the country object of research, not uh, the origin of research, uh, this is the reason why I changed the color to uh, underline that this is a different uh, subject. We have uh, 145 uh, articles uh, are studies that are focused on specific location in one or more countries. And so we can see, of course, again, most are in Canada, but we have a great amount uh, of studies uh, which involve Europe, uh, United States, uh, other Americas is not only Mexico, but there are also some studies which are focused uh, on some countries in Latin America and a small amount in Asia and uh, Africa. Uh, of course, uh, some of these countries object of research uh, do not uh, host uh, RPLC members. And uh, there are also about 17 studies uh, who compare two or more countries. Again, if we are looking in, instead of the country origin of research, uh, we see that there is a less predominance of Canadian uh, papers with respect to books uh, and a more uh, relevant presence of uh, European uh, researchers. So as a conclusion of this uh, uh, presentation, I can say that Zotero is really a good instrument for creating a publication database. Google Scholar is highly effective in finding journal articles, book chapters, and even other uh, publications. It is possible to uh, have an automatic update of uh, information on new publication by setting, uh, as I did, alerts for every, every RPLC members. So that whenever everyone is adding something, Google Scholar will find it a signal. And so it's possible to uh, have this update without doing a search on all uh, authors. As I said before, the list of conference proceedings and other documents is probably not complete uh, because this kind of material is not so well indexed in Google. And it's suggested that uh, all authors uh, who have uh, this kind of publication should uh, make uh, them more accessible, mainly by cr uh, creating or updating uh, uh, their uh, academic web page or even the Google Scholar page also is also a very good instrument as I found because uh, uh, it is uh, also for uh, if one has a Google Scholar page I am, uh, it's sure that uh, public uh, publication uh, are coming from uh, this author otherwise from Google Scholar the only uh, new sense is that I have some uh, a lot of false uh, false positives uh, uh, because uh, um, I have uh, signals from uh, sometimes uh, of uh, people with the same name or similar and so on. Um, when I'm looking at the update of the, of the uh, scholar, Google Scholar page, this is more uh, certain. So, I mean, this is a good point. Uh, this kind of work can provide useful information and I think that uh, the information could uh, increase in quality uh, as much as every RPSC member is caring uh, the documentation of uh, his or her activity. Thank you.